What's going on guys? Winter Kills here. Welcome back to another post commentary duel video. We've got Metal Foes. Uh, I think pure Metal Foe. I don't know if there is a uh, Magic Specter engine in it still just for Bambuku and stuff. Um, which isn't entirely bad now that Kieran's gone. Uh, it's definitely a hurt to the R-Type, but I think it's obviously still playable. The Pendulum mechanic is still uh, one of the strongest things currently in the game. There is a D barrier right there that will get chained to the the activation of our chain eccentric, not the effect to pop, just once it's played. Might as well just make him end his turn immediately with a D barrier because that's what that card does. And I think he just pitched a card for empowerment to summon Dragotes. There's that empowerment engine coming into play. Somebody said, uh, the other day, I forget who it was, um, some guy being a punk, as per usual, uh, he's like, just cause there's five cards in it for empowerment doesn't make it empowered invoked, it's like, okay, I see where you're coming from, but it's not pure invoked, and that's all I'm gonna say, um, it has, it's like, it's invoked, and it, it's got a hint of empowerment, you know? I want to let people know that it's not just pure invoked. It's got a little spice in it. Okay? Relax. Um, <laughs> but anyways. I think. I know the camera angle is a little botched right now. Uh, and that will. I do fix that later on. Um, so bear with me. I think he shuffled up his uh, his back row there because it might have been a little mishap there that had happened. Um, activating painful decision. I'm gonna grab a uh, silver or stealing one of the level three guys. He's got a hand full of monsters right now. A full pendulum scale flipping up artifact sanctum. Probably gonna go for moral or maybe scythe. Regardless, that's gonna keep him out of the extra deck. Uh, which is going to hurt a little bit because Metal Foes usually wants to put their Pendulum Scales into their extra deck uh, in order to, uh, you know, search and search and search. And then once everything's all stacked up in the extra deck, then they summon from the extra deck. But fortunately enough for him, he did open up a lot of monsters. So I guess it's not such a bad thing in this case. He's able to summon a uh, Vol Flame and I think maybe a Silvered. But he can't bring out like the Eccentric from his extra deck or anything. Uh, which would obviously be a little bit more of a problem. He's going to use his other Pendulum Monster, Destroy Volflame, to grab full Metal Foes Fusion. And then he's going to activate Bismagear. Bismagear will destroy, it looks like, Gold Driver there. Probably going to search. Yep, the Counter. Counter is a busted card, and there he's going to finish off the combo uh, by popping his Bismagear, and assuming I'm gonna, he's going to use his effect... In the end phase to search if he remembers because sometimes people forget um i usually remind my opponent depending on where it is if it's the locals i'm like ah don't forget your end phase search because let's be honest it all slips our minds sometimes um he will uh, run right over top of his dragotes with the volflame unable to clear the the artifact scythe but it's gonna leave a light target on his field either way End phase, he gets to search off of Dragotes because it is destroyed. End phase, he can add a Spellcaster. We have a level 4 or lower Spellcaster, something like, uh, like that. Get a quick search to uh, Alistair. And then it looks like during the standby phase, he's going to full Metal Foes. Uh, probably into an Alkahest, which can now steal one of his special monsters. And take its attack points for its defense. I believe he still has a Forbidden Chalice set, though. Um, which is going <laughs> to put an end to that right there. Dealing with it pretty easily. But he still has a loaded extra deck at this point. Uh, and a pendulum summon could uh, could hurt a lot, to say the least. It looks like he's going to banish uh, that from his grave to go for Purg Trio. Which gains 200 attack points for every card he controls. Which I think is like one pendulum scale, uh, one monster, and two back row. Two, four, six, eight hundred. He's up. And he pierces. So he'll pierce for a lot of damage, but he gets to summon off both Metal Foes counters. 
Looks like one's going to be Volflame. I'm not sure what the other one is here. We'll find out. Probably going to have to be a smaller one, depending on what he's got left. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll find out here in a second. Yeah, there it is. Um, but uh, on, a, on a bit of a side note, and sometimes I usually do in these videos, I kind of go off on a little tangent while you guys continue to watch what's going on. Um, I've been trying to get... Uh, of, I'm, I'm trying to, like... I don't want to say it's a creative roadblock that I've been in for a little bit, but it kind of is. Um, I've been keeping up with the dual videos, obviously. Uh, I think it's my most popular thing that I do with a post commentary, and I'm glad you guys enjoy it so much. I have fun making them. Um, the deck profile is obviously uh, a staple of any channel that does this kind of stuff. Um, they come and go as, as soon as often as I can get a new profile up for you guys. Um, I might end up making a updated Infernoid, uh, list, uh, not too long here. Um, I still need to make an updated Mermel profile. Uh, I ordered Abyss Osseas, I'm waiting for those to get in, so once those get in, I'll probably have a new Mermel profile, but I'm trying to think of, like, just other videos to make that aren't either dual videos or deck profiles or the occasional test hand video, which... I'm going to try to do more regularly, especially with True King Dino. I kind of got to get better at the deck. And there is a five, uh, five or four card Pendulum Summon right there. My God. The deck is not dead, to say the least. Metaphos Counter getting activated earlier to add some stuff back to his hand, and he has popped off. Archfiend Eccentric is on the board, and he's going to be able to clear that no problem with the Eccentric, or the Perk Trio, clear that no problem. Search Metal Foes, full Metal Foes Fusion, so he can do even more damage at this point. And it's going to be game over. Game one ending in a swift, massive Pendulum Summon. The tides turn very quickly in that one. Was not expecting it. But anyways, as I was saying, I'm going to try to come up with some different stuff. Uh... I kind of got some stuff in mind. I got some stuff in mind. Uh, also trying to just fit in a time to get the streams going again. Because I would love to stream again. I've just been so entirely busy with school. Making content for this channel. Um, and doing other things. I was out of town the other weekend. Uh, really didn't have much time to devote to anything other than just being out of town. Um, but we'll see. We're not in a bad spot. I think we're, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about old me. I got some ideas up my sleeve. We're almost at 4,500 subscribers. Like, you guys are psychomaniacs, all of you. Thank you so much for the support. It does mean a lot and is much appreciated as they go for the painful decision. Started off with a GoFu play, so you know it's lit. You know it is L I T. F-A-M. And then he's going to use uh, Metal Foes Fusion. Looks like he's going to try and use his token. There's Artifact Sanctum, which we can only imagine is going to bring out Artifact Scythe, causing Full Metal Foes, or not Full Metal Foes Fusion, but Metal Foes Fusion to fizzle. And then he'll use his effect when it hits the grave to shovel it back in the deck and draw one card. Looks like it was Rescue Rabbit. That's a draw. He's not gonna normal summon. He's just gonna set one and set one monster. He's probably trying to go for a Zulkan play without a Monte. Instead, he'll search another counter. Kind of go for more of a defensive play. He probably knows that he can negate uh, the Rescue Rabbit with the Makaba and uh, a Rescue Rabbit play. Probably won't make too much sense at this point because it probably to be to go for a rank four play. And obviously he can't go into the extra deck right now, so probably wouldn't make too much sense anyways. Kind of a dead card for him at the moment, but could definitely help out uh, later on. Uh, we've got, I think he's sided, and my uh, my brother is playing on the left there. I think he ended up siding in some uh, some more spell and trap hate, and by the way of, uh, I can't remember what the card is, Twister? Not Twister, uh, Typhoon, there it is, Typhoon. End phase, he'll hit the full Metal Post Fusion. 
Good hit right there. Alistair's going to come down. No interruptions. He knows most of his set back row. I think uh, one. I think they were both set by the effects of Metal Foes this turn. I, think, I know one's a counter, and I think the other one maybe as I come in here and fix the camera angle. Yes, I know. It's finally fixed. Uh, I think I might have left the angle as from the previous match, and uh, they might have slid down a little too far, and it is what it is, but we're all good now. Going for Perg Trio. He can attack all monsters at once and do plenty of piercing damage. So that might uh, that might do him in right there. It'll pierce that one. He's going to go for double Metal Foes counter. We'll see if he has a response with the Mechaba. Doesn't look like he will. But Perk Trio is still going to be able to keep attacking. Um, just because he's going to have more and more monsters on his field. And he's going to gain more and more attack. He's going to gain an extra 400 when these two monsters hit the board. 600, 800 from all the cards that he's got, and that's going to be game over anyways. The, the Metal Foes counters will not help him. They will only end up hurting him to take more damage. Uh, and still have the Makaba there to use, just in case anything went wrong. Here we are in game three. Looks like Instant Fusion MST and three Metal Foes cards. He could definitely pop off. Uh, easy uh, access to perhaps a, a Zulkin play we might see. Uh, there's a combination which he's going to MST. Saw that coming. Get a free search of a Metal Foes card. It looks like he's going to add, uh, I think maybe the level 2 or level 3. Oh, it looks like it's the level 3. Can't remember if the level 3 is silvered or steel, and they both start with S's, and I apologize if I don't know who's is who. Um, I think one's a high scale, one's a low scale. Again, I, I could be completely wrong. Pendulum Summon for two. Metal Post Fusion for Adamante. And then it looks like he's probably going to use the Instant Fusion to go into... Uh... Oh, maybe, if he, maybe he won't if he doesn't have a card to set here. I don't see why he'd go into Zulkin if he doesn't have a card. And there's Theseus right there. Going into Zulkin. Oh, no, he can just get a card to set anyways if he has... Yeah, that. Well, what am I thinking? How does does Metal Foes not have a card to set? Who am I kidding? He's gonna go to use Zulkin now to grab. He doesn't have Crystal Wing. I know, uh, unfortunate. Not everybody has access to the best cards. Got to work with what you got. So he's gonna go for an alternative. Moonlight Rose Dragon. But let's see if it if we play it out as if it was a Crystal Wing. Let's see if it would make too much of a difference here uh, on his plays. There's Empowerment, Pitching Dragotes, to go and grab to summon a Dragotes. Now, I think Moonlight can bounce uh, a level 5 or higher when it's special summoned, on either when it's special summoned or when the level 5 or higher is special summoned. So, technically, he could have negated, uh, if it was Crystal Wing, he could have negated the Alistair there. Which, I don't know what else he has in his hand. I don't know if you guys might have saw it, but... Um, whether or not that would hurt him too much. Going into Diamond Dire Wolf now. He's going to pop the Moonlight Rose. And he'll chain counter to that anyways. Summoning out Bismagear off of that. Interesting enough. And there's the Wind Witch play. I suppose... Here's an interesting thing, uh, and I, my brother's not a bad player, he's very smart when it comes to this game. I'm sure if it was a Crystal Wing, he probably would have summoned it and not activated the effect, and then gone into Dire Wolf immediately to bait out the negation, because I always think now that Crystal Wings can't be destroyed uh, by card effect. Um, and for a second there, I'm like, don't make Mech, but as I'm saying, he's a smart player, and he summons the wrong thing, but he, he goes for uh, uh, the Rage, and we're all good, but I'm sure sure... He, and he has a chalice in hand anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Who am I kidding? It, it would not have mattered at all if he had Crystal Wing off the Zulkin. Um, so I don't be like, oh, well, if he had Crystal Wing, that game would have been over. No, 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 no. He, he had the chalice. The main deck chalices are so clutch. And I think I've been ordering a lot of staple cards lately because now they're kind of getting cheap. And there's a, there's a chalice on the Gofu. But I ordered more common Twin Twisters. I ordered a playset of common Maxis. Um, cause like you guys know, I have like four decks, four or five decks right now, and it's nice not to have to switch, um, 
cards in and out of each, and they're all like in the same type of sleeves. Um, I still got to sleeve DDDs up, and I still need to order some more stable cards like uh, chalices. I'd like to get. I still got to order a third strike. I still got to order a play set of cosmic cyclones. I I don't know how I'm gonna be ready for Pittsburgh. I'm gonna be broke as fuck. It's not even gonna be funny. I'm gonna have. I'm not gonna be able to spend a goddamn dime on a thing, on anything coming up in the near future. I gotta I gotta save all the the money that I can get. Um, so yeah, because diagram is a secret rare. <laughs> Why is diagram a secret rare? Oh man, it hurts. Because I think I think True King Dino is what I'm probably gonna be playing. Um, I mean, I could play 60 card Infernoid, but like, it's a 60 card deck, and I don't want to have the the whole risk factor the whole day knowing that I'm playing a less consistent deck than everybody else. Going for Mechaba there, using the Moonlight Rose in the in the graveyard. Nice play, and I think the, I think it's safe to say the game's over at this point. Uh, so that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And, uh, yeah, like I said, um, if you want to donate to the Help Winter Kills Fund so you can get ready for YZS Pittsburgh, no, I'm just kidding. You guys don't got to worry about that. Um, but like I was saying earlier, I'm going to try to get some variety going up because I, I hope you guys aren't getting sick of just the, the dual video, dual video, deck profile, dual video, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to mix it up. I really am. It's just coming up with something that's fresh. That's something you guys are going to watch. Uh, the lab is on hiatus, I know. I'm going to try to bring it back. I know you guys really like that. So uh, we'll try and bring that back. Uh, it's just the past few locals, like, not everybody's been there to participate in it. So um, I, w I didn't even get to go to my locals last week because I was out of town, like you guys have heard earlier. But I'm trying my best. Bear with me. The streams, I know the streams are going to come back. The loyal stream squad. The loyal notification squad. Bless up to all you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, Winter Kills. Signing out. We'll see you in the next one.